Most people don't know that Cribbage is one of our favorite games of all time. Cox and I decided that we're going to play through a game and give you our strategy ideas as we go here on Legendary Tactics. So Cax and I have played a lot of cribbage in our lifetimes, and we thought we would bring you some strategic uh, ideas to improve your play uh, of this great game. Um, I don't know how many games I've played, Cax. It's it maybe oh around gosh. a thousand or whatever. Yeah, it's no, in oh the no, thousands. I'm, I'm in the thousands for sure because I I play probably five to six a day on my phone. Just, yeah, just yeah. Like, it's like it's like a two minute adventure, you know. Yeah. Quick little fire on the phone, and then it's uh, only fifteen hundred <laughs> games a year. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> whatever that's right. it is. So I certainly have picked up some some tips and tricks, and I think we'll uh, we'll definitely be uh, yes. and I. I uh, you know, sharing some ideas here today. So I'm really looking forward to, uh, we've been talking about this for a while. Yes, it's been something we've been meaning to do. And we found this great interface, cardsjd.com. Um, it's got a bunch of card games, but it has a very nice interface for cribbage. And it, look yeah, at my very lovely with beard. I yes, like, I know. Yes. And I'm, the, I'm clean shaven and, yeah. you know, you look, we actually almost should reverse characters, to be honest. You look a little too professional. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. I know. It's because I got my game face on. <laughs> yeah, that must be it. So, yeah, we just All thought right. we, we, we'd, we'd play and we'd discuss the hands kind of, you know, as we go um, after the fact. Um, you know, we're going to, we gotta, uh, you know, just draw give, you a, here. give you a okay. breakdown. The video will be mine, so you will see my play so you can... From yell your, at me okay, so this when is, I, yeah, when so I do a have terrible to, we'll... play. Oh, <laughs> and I like to think of my the 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 kind of the strength of my play is in is in the um, the, the the cribbing or whatever the yes uh, yes, not, yes you know the I peg points the pegging, peg points sorry yes that's what I meant to say and so that's where I I find I I enjoy the most right right so. Um... There is a certain amount of uh, guesswork to do when you're when you're playing against an opponent. So you know, like yes. you play a four now. What is that? You're, do you have the yes. run four, five, six? Do you have the ace four in the yes. in hand? You know, so yeah. Um, well, what I so what I'm kind I of like... banking on you don't have a two, three, four here. Yeah, <laughs> and you always want to watch for the runs. You don't want to lead to a, a, a run if you can. So you want to make sure you're playing cards that don't lead up to that and i'll take that thank you oh so yeah there right there is a great example of what you don't do <laughs> yeah well i laid a 24 with a seven and you could so you to play a seven gave you four points yeah so yeah. that was a i was i was actually just going to talk about that never playing into a a hand that gives a 21 to your opponent yes so they, they play the 10 they play the 10 um yeah. and uh so now we can take a look at the hands what that happened I got a, to you oh you got a yeah, 17 crib i just oh because my i threw gosh. into my crib I threw into my crib. I, uh, there's that's there's a, a rare hand where I I played the uh, Jack Queen into my into wow. my crib because I had well if you look at my hand though I had garbage. Yes, you had nothing but a pair and, of jacks. Jeez. And so I thought, yeah, it was. But I, even if you look at what I had in hand with the the Jack Queen, it was like yeah. still garbage. Like what 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 do you do there? Like yep. what would you have thrown with Jack Queen in my cri in my hand? Yeah, uh, I I probably right? would have done the same. Yeah. And yeah, and it paid right. off. Right, like in that case, so yeah. like you know, like hope for something like awesome in my crib that actually happened. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what oh. the the uh, I dropped the queen king, and I yep. feel totally justified with that because. Um, oh no! You must have dropped. I did not drop a pair of jacks, so you would have dropped a jack, one of the jacks for sure. Um. Oh, what did you? What did you drop? Because uh, oh, I, I dropped... did not. I threw. I. I think oh, I, I dropped. I threw king jack. That and you king dropped jack. Jack queen. Jack Sorry, queen. Yes. That's right. Yeah. 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 So so I dropped king jack, and I think that's the best. Those only score either as pairs or with fifteens. Essentially, I mean, you can get a run or whatever, but. Um, but I wasn't, I was looking at what I had and I had yeah. uh, some good oh, potential here. Oh, you for here. sure had to keep what your hand was there. Yeah. 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 So There's it's no a doubt. lot about, so it was, a, it, even though I lost that uh, round, I think I totally feel comfortable with how I played it. Um, yeah. And, no, no, and no, no. you, that, you yeah. played it well as well. You had nothing. You just had to go for something, hopefully in your crib and you, and, it and paid did I ever time. hit there? Yeah. So we'll see, uh, see what yeah, round two so, brings here. Dropping into my own crib. Now I tend to draw. I, I I kind of live by the idea of a bird in hand is worth two in the bush, and sure. I'm I'm happy to drop junk into my crib. Uh, my expectations for a crib typically is anything four. It, four is like 
what I kind of expect. Um, and uh, if I get better than that, then I think that that's a, a great, uh, great thing. So, oh, I wasn't expecting that. Um, really? Because you dropped a three, four. Yeah. I was like, oh, he's expecting the run and he's going to hit me for four. Yeah, I was going to. Well, you know what? I can do that, actually. So. Oh, well done. <laughs> yeah, still pretty good. Of, yeah, I tricked you there. But yeah. Um, no, I was yeah, definitely playing good. into that run. And, and 15 for two. Oh, no. Another, okay. No, no, no. Okay. No. So, Let's but I'm happy with now. my hand. You got four. I got eight. And I'm happy with an eight. And, and that's, seven in your crib. That's, that's a above superior crib. crib to me. So I kept yeah. the nine, four, four, two. And I dropped yep. the um, the 10 yeah, and the make seven. Make your 15. Set yourself up for for a potential three in, yep. in a run. And the 10 and the seven are junk. But with combined with an eight and an ace and a six on the... As the yeah. drawn card, that's not a bad. Uh, yeah, not a bad yeah, and I threw. All. I think I threw the seven ace away. Yes. Uh, uh, no, you, because yes, you did. Or the oh, no, seven eight, 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 eight ace. ace. Yeah. yeah, it was definitely the ace. But uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So and I again, it was just kind of what to do with that, the mess. You had um, to no it, when you have tens and fives like that. Like you have to go keep for your tens it. and fives, yeah. and then and then I figured the three because you could maybe use it for pegging, and also and it it was either the ace or the three to keep back. But I thought yeah. the three because of the four shows, right? Yeah. So you for me, that counts as an life. average hand and a, and an above average crib. So I'm happy yeah. to take that. Yeah, yeah, I'll take and, that. Yeah. And how's the score look? You are currently up just I'm by this. Currently the up by a bit. We we had some here. real nail biting nail biting. Yesterday, uh, yeah, it was great yesterday. Yeah. All okay, right, this is an easy split up here. Yeah, this is kind of easy on my part as well. And again, I yeah. I'm a uh, oh a, a big nice. fan of the keeping things flexible you never know what card's going to turn up and i i'd rather sacrifice a bit of a few points here and there to give me more flexibility than in hand, yes in hand than than um have to deal with uh, oh jeez <laughs> unbelievable then then uh you know then, try see if you have another one there uh, yeah I, okay is, good be, I'll, oh, it, I'll do yeah. the return favor to you <laughs> yeah you know what i should have i should have actually played that one i figured you might have the it, it didn't matter yeah. i would hedge either way yeah that's true yeah so so, so average hand for, for me 14, 14 for me done. and four more in the crib all yeah. red look at that so yeah so i dropped the queen and the ace and this is what i call dropping the ends so if you've got so i had a second that crib's worth more than four isn't it no, all, 15, two, 15. All hearts. Don't you get all hearts for four? No, you need, I think, no, you need five hearts to score the flush. Oh, you have to get the, you have to get I'm the pretty flip sure. card too. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. so the variant, I must play a variant on my phone because my phone will allow four points for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. I, have, I should double check that, but okay. Yeah. So then it's only four. So anyway, so I dropped, well, no, if you have it in your hand, it'll score. I think. Oh, but the crib, the crib won't, score. won't score. I believe oh, that's how it works. But yeah, that's okay. one of those obscure rules that rarely right. comes up, but yeah. <laughs> it did just now. Yeah. yeah that's right. So I, I dropped the, I, I cut off the ends, right? So I had the ace, eight, nine, 10, jack, queen. So I dropped yeah. up the ends off because that gives me the biggest flexibility I mean, yep. yeah, five came up, yeah. so I did. Plus, you don't want ten, you don't points. want to, yeah, yeah, you don't want to be ten heavy in case you get a you know a yes. seven or yes, exactly. So, so that that gave me the most flexibility with pegging, and then I could uh, do the um, you know and still benefit if a five came up. So so I, I had a slight yourself? dilemma. I mean, it was a relatively easy cut for me, but I I did have the seven eight. And yes. so it was seven eight nine ten. Yeah. So I could have kept that run of four and then dropped my two jacks in. Yeah. However, I didn't. I, I thought, you know, I'm gonna throw seven eight into the crib for, in hopes of a big, a big fish in there. No, not even that. Seven eight is a much better drop because odds are I'm not gonna drop a five into your crib, so that no. the jacks are of limited use there. So you did the right, you did the exact right play. I would have dropped the yeah. seven eight myself yeah. as well. That was the better, uh, the better play. Yeah, and it just, and I always just like to like sometimes it's you just put that away because seven eights can lead you to a big hand. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I didn't have it necessarily. I I would have had a run of four my you yeah. know, original. So yeah, exactly. Not great. So, uh, a right. bit of a dilemma on this one, oh, um, boy, but it's my. Not... Oh, is this my crib or your crib? No, this is your crib. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> All right, then I'm. Yeah, for a second I read to select two cards for your opponent's crib, but that was on your side of the board, and so I thought, oh, uh, I panicked, yeah, yeah. I panicked a second. Um, right, again, right. I'm I'm playing more for flexibility, and actually, it paid off uh, more or less for me there. So that's good. Um, 
Oh, Pair that up okay. For two. Oh, love, Ooh, we'll take the six. We'll take the six. Done. And then we'll take maybe a go if you don't have another ace. I do not. So that was, yeah, that was good. Uh, you can kick off the. See. Oh, and I'll take 15 yeah, for two. I'll pair it up. Oh, there. We'll double it down. Yeah. Yes. I figured so, it, if there was a. I, it was going to be that scored that way either way. So. Oh, 10. Nicely yeah, done. Got 10 and 7 and in the seven crib. 7 in your crib. Yeah. So. I had a bit of a mess in this hand. So I threw you the two jack in my crib. Mm hmm. Yep. And if you look at what I had in my hand, my yes. my dilemma was do I throw jack eight and keep my two pair? Yeah, that's But I, I what I thought was, you know what, keep the eight nine nine in case and hope for either a, a hit on a seven or a ten. Yeah. Or uh, or I got a six, which wasn't a bad follow up. I would say that's a fifty fifty because if if a four came up and you kept your two pair, you would have dominated <laughs> that's but, true but that yeah but, you're down to one card there yeah. and i didn't like that yeah but yeah I mean, that's I guess, true yeah uh, even a, the flexibility even uh even a two or another nine coming hitting would have been all right too because you would have gotten a pair of six and a pair of yeah so no i think eight, i think that was the smart that was a smart uh one um there I th I'm, as you I'm say happy. right you got to play for flexibility in crib. you do yeah and uh and i i did mine exactly for that i dropped the four and the five um, but you kept your ace eh well for, for pegging Four flexibility. <clears throat> I guess you're right. Yeah, keep your keep, throw the run in there. Yeah, yeah, I was hoping for a run, and I'm I'm fine with dropping a five into my own crib because people dump tens all the time. It's the most common card, and the least flexible in my opinion. So, oh, um, yeah, you know, yeah. so you 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 know, you get a lot of tens dumped in there. And I thought, okay, well, we'll see how this goes. And as it happened, I managed to get the 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 uh, run the six as planned. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I love the four, five, six <laughs> run because that is a fifteen, and it's also a, a run yeah, for three. Yeah, exactly. So that yeah. is a really nice one to, That's good. to score. How are we doing on a little score? Oh boy, it we is are neck, neck and neck, and neck here. <laughs> it is. Oh, oh boy. And I have such a dilemma with this one. Oh, geez. Wow, this is gonna. Uh, this is a real tricky one. This one doesn't cut because I'm trying to. Nicely. If if it was my crib, I'd know exactly what I would do. But because it's your crib, I'm gonna have to dump those guys on you. It still gives me some flexibility. Um, but I wish it was. It's one of those All hands right. where I wish it was my crib because I'd know exactly what to do. Yeah. So. All right. You have to play right. a card here. Yeah. Start it off. Oh, interesting. Um, see, this is where I can play myself into a run. I normally wouldn't do this, but I don't want oh, to. Oh, wow. I don't want to play into a big run. Now, actually, this is another another strategy as well, because you played, I think it was a four and a seven, right? The four reason, nine. Or four, no, was it four and nine? Yes. Okay. For sure. Yeah. For your, for you, for your, no, the, that was, the nine was your last card. I think you had a, something else. A but four first, then a nine. Yep. The reason why I felt a bit safer playing that Jack was because um, the cards that you had shown so far did not indicate that you were playing with, um, you know, tens. Right. Right. You were absolutely and tens right. tens and yeah. fives. So yeah. I was like, okay, th that's pretty, you know, that's pretty, uh. Pretty good. And, so. and I, I actually went the opposite approach there. I kept my two pairs, yes. and it only gave me four points. Yeah. <laughs> so well, it was a bit of a bit of a, a bust there. But yeah. uh, um, I I went I had a I had a king and a nine is what I dropped into yours. So and you did fairly well. Nice run there and score fit for you with yeah. your fifteen. It's so an good. above yeah. average hand, even though I didn't yeah. crib very well at all. Um, there wasn't actually that many, or sorry, pegging. Sorry, there wasn't. No, very, you didn't peg anything there. There hardly, wasn't yeah. very many points to be had. Actually, it was just no. You know, no. you lucked out with a, a pair there. Oh, there we go. I like this. Oh yeah, good hand. Well, yes and no. <laughs> you shall it see. Is, <laughs> it is a good hand. I'm not going to complain, but I would love it if we could hold on to five cards. Let's just <laughs> yeah, one of those hands. Eh? It yeah. would be great. Yeah. And I have to sacrifice here. And you got to break something up, eh? I got to break something up. Uh, I don't like to see. Jeez. Yeah, I got to I got to make I got to keep the ones that are going to burn pay the off. hand, man. Yeah, burn, burn the hand. hand. Yeah. Let's see if you got if you got nines or sixes to play. <laughs> You do not. Uh, yes. But this is where I'll play sometimes. Now, you happen to have the ace, but normally that forces you into a corner pretty well. And uh, you, you, I get the go point. 
right from that but yeah six so, points just a yeah. just a run of three. Oh, I got six, six as you. well yeah and four so, in the crib okay. yeah oh now, boy we are neck and neck here this is eh? where 81. I was really torn and and re, you know I had to drop I dropped the queen and king I could have dropped the ten and jack and that actually you know did you drop it you dropped a king or, queen I dropped the the king and queen yeah so you so, had a you had a run of four, or so you either keep your run, run of four, four or drop of all the fives. tens. Yeah, or drop. No, the your fives. two three gives you pegging flexibility. And and if I drop the five, the two and the three into the crib, there's no guarantee that there's going to be hit the a tens ten. there. Yeah, so I had to take yeah, the one so it that could be I just a wasted. I but however, the jack or the king queen is also potentially wasted. So it it was potentially yes, there was yeah. no doubt. Um, and I just kept my run of three yep. nines, and then I threw in the uh, the I had a four in there and a queen. I believe. Yes. Yeah. And so check, I just check thought, out the pegging. I got one. You got two. Two peg points. <laughs> the difference was the crib, which is very how. very average. The hand yeah. was slightly below average. The crib was average. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. Four points from a crib. I'm happy with. So, all right. Now this one's awkward. Lots of potential. Yeah, well, but. I do. I have the same. It's gonna. I'm gonna need a, a nice flip here, though. <clears throat> yeah, it's gonna it's take a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just. That wasn't it. That, not for me. Yeah, anyway. it wasn't. Wasn't it? For me <laughs> not really not too not. hot there. <laughs> yeah, All right, so. let's fire this mess up here. It's a very safe lead. It's the safest lead in any uh, game of cribbage. Are you gonna um, do the five, the plus one here? Uh, no, I'm going to. Uh -huh. Another four. Okay. Yeah. Because I know it's safe, right? That's the, because I, I led with the four and, you know, didn't get uh, any response. So, yeah. And la we trade last cards for one. <laughs> so, yeah. Another, another great pegging yeah. point hand there, right? Eh? <laughs> yeah. I had, oh, only four. Uh, you only had four, four as well. Dull. And, and the six, six. The crib gets the most points. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's a, it was above average. I dropped the nine and the, and the, uh, and the king. So and, and I did the six and the I ten. I could have kept the, yeah. the nine uh, or the seven, and I just thought, oh, like it, it was a tough call. Like the, it was 50 Oh 50. yeah, you could have. You had your hand there had some good potential. If I had a two, or, hit a five two or five, yes, that would have been very good. But, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, okay. the difference again was the crib. That's so, right. It's yeah. uh, we're both kind of with kind of like middling hands this game, eh? I don't yeah, feel it hasn't like been too exciting. Really, yeah, for yeah, sure. So far. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, yeah, this Gosh. is when I'm going to have to play for the flexibility in the crib because it's my crib. So yeah. hopefully we get some help. Uh, let's see. What you want to do with that? Yeah, we'll, 18, we'll eh? Push okay. it. Perfect. We'll take ah. the 31. Um, that's one of the the fun ah, parts of, of this geez. is getting people to play into your trap like you play to 26 uh, you get yeah. them to play to 26 and yeah oh, only oh, two, two. In crib, a <laughs> pair of threes yeah this was so, not a very exciting hand yeah. i threw in i did throw my queen away but i i i, I was going for a big hand here if i did a seven that yes. Been oh, yes. That would have been very good. Yes. Seven. Even even um, um a, an ace. I could have gotten fifteens out of it. Yeah. Like, there was there was some there was some. But yeah, yeah, I did get the. No, we're all just we're picking hands that are like one card away from <laughs> potentially something big, right? Something yeah, big. yeah. Um, now I I went with I dropped the one and the three. I could have kept the one, three, five, and nine potentially. That was what uh, I was thinking. But yeah. then I would have Ste dropped stepping two stones tens. on the eve on the odd numbers. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, but I would have dropped two tens into my own crib and i if it was your crib i probably would have dropped the two tens and i would have kept nine five three and one because again flexibility yeah. had it been um, my crib i think i would have thrown the eights in but i just uh yes yeah that's, and kept the but anyway that's pretty you fair. you do have to be very mindful of who's getting what yeah. in the crib you know who's who's <clears> going yeah mine's very easy that was probably the easiest hand <laughs> the, the easiest decision to make there okay i'm gonna put all the eggs in ah Yes. All right. Give me a tough one. I'll just do 15. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, don't, geez. Don't have the fourth one. No. <laughs> Jeez, Sorry, I was man. a little bit nervous. I'm always a little bit nervous when that happens. Yeah. Oh, it was 50 Double down 50. On <laughs> Again, you're just playing 50, into 50. my hand. You here. either had the, the queen or the, the 10 or whatever. The run so, of three. Yeah. yeah. But I got nine. So nine. All right. You got 10. Oh, it looks like you're going to win. And the grip. Oh. oh. <laughs> A very average is. crib. 
What did? Sorry, now it blocked my crib. Would I get four in the crib? Four in the crib. Oh, so it was just enough to squeak yes. me over the line. <laughs> what even, was the? Can't uh, even remove I need, that. Oh, I, don't, I needed. It looked like two points to get in. Yeah. So I only needed yeah, two. Yeah, you were crib. you were there. Yeah. So and you, oftentimes that's what it really comes down to. You have to be mindful of that home stretch. Yes. Um, when you're when you're coming in, like who's absolutely. I would say once you hit around like around the high nineties, mid nineties, start you get to really start watching. Yes. Where the who's got the crib? Yes, and, uh, and yeah, be and mindful it, it of that. It matters who who scores first, right? Because as you said, the other game we were playing, it was you know you, you stop thinking about even end of game scoring when you're in the last four or five points of the hand. Like you're just yeah, you're playing the game to crib to to like. Oh, peg sometimes in. I'll I'll take a hand with zero points in it to score, and I'll I'll win it all on play, like all on right. pegging. That's yeah. and that's to, especially if you're the the player with the crib. That's your only shot. If the if if your opponent is close, you got to go for gold. And if you uh, and a lot of times, you know, you can you can get it. Like you you definitely got lucky with the. You had a couple times where I paired it up, and then you happened to have the third, which was very good for you. And actually, if you look at the details here, you actually out uh, out pegged me twenty eight to thirty seven. I out pegged you. So I out uh, I out handed you. I out no, no, I out handed you. Like my hands were stronger overall by twelve, but your cribs were better. By by 13 oh i'm so. looking at a different oh this is weird is that is that the overall summary of the whole yeah if you click on um oh if you click on details sorry it'll show you probably the same oh, thing that, okay yeah. oh there it is okay yeah so anyway it was down to the wire though could have gone either it way certainly was yeah. yeah and uh yeah so we hope you enjoyed this video yep. got some good strategy from it as well oh absolutely yes yeah. indeed don't forget to like and subscribe thanks so much for watching this is legendary tactics